Right, we're going to start with the basic technique that you need to learn if you're going to do anything to do with electronics, which is or electrics rather, electrical installation, which is wiring a plug, a UK three pin plug. OK, so a few things about the UK plug, first of all. Uh, first thing is it's got three pins like we know, but uh, you may or may not be aware of the names of the pins. This is the neutral pin. This is the live pin and this is the earth pin. Right, the neutral and live pins are the same length. The earth pin is slightly longer. There's a reason for that. Uh, the neutral and live pins have got insulation halfway down the legs. That's there in case you pull the plug out the wall and accidentally put your fingers around the side. The plug only goes live once those are obscured, so you can't see them anymore. It's quite a clever little feature. Um, right, why is the earth pin longer than the others? Well, when you plug it into a 13 amp socket in the wall, the earth pin is the first to enter the socket, making the appliance safe, so connecting the electrical component to ground, to earth, and also it acts as a mechanical lock that unlocks the other two pins. So you can't actually push these two in if this one is missing. So some devices that aren't earthed and this is made of plastic. If you snap that off accidentally by dropping it, you might as well throw it in the bin because you're not going to be able to put it in the wall with just these two protruding. So there's a little bit about the plug, okay? Right, so this plug, look, bog standard. You need to have a Phillips screwdriver to get inside. So undo that with a Phillips screwdriver. And once it's open, you will see the internals. Right, so there's a few th more things we need to see inside now. So I'll bring that up closer. So here's your neutral pin, here's your earth pin, and your live pin is next to it at the top there. Now the live pin doesn't go straight to uh, the pin here. Sorry, the connection doesn't go straight to the pin. It has to travel through this cylindrical object. And this cylindrical object is the fuse. Right, so what a fuse is, is a very thin piece of metal which has been rated to melt at a certain current. Now this one has been rated to melt at 13 amps, or just above 13 amps. What that means is if we have a fault in a device, or if we overload a device, too much current flows through that wire and it melts. And that cuts the power to the circuit and makes the appliance safe. So that's your fuse, your inline fuse, always connected in line with the live pin on the plug. Right, these pins are smaller now, so you're gonna need a flat-headed screwdriver to undo these pins. So I'll undo the earth pin, I'll undo the neutral pin, now don't undo them all the way, and I'll undo the live pin. Right, so now, if you look underneath these pins, there's a slight hole where the wire can be placed. That's how I'm gonna clamp them in place, by tightening those wires up again afterwards. Right, two more little screws that we need to deal with, the ones on the back here that form the cable grip. Now, cable grip is a really, really important feature of a plug. What it's going to do is it's going to stop any damage caused by a cable being yanked. You might uh, forget and drag something, something might get dropped and pull on the cable. If that happens, what's going to uh, occur is the wires are going to be pulled out from the inside of the plug, causing danger. Right, so let's see how we go about wiring this plug up properly. Now, I'm going to put in some um, heavy-duty mains flex. Here it is. Look, these are multi-core wires. You can see the colours there. I've got a blue wire, a brown wire, and a yellow and green wire. Okay, so inside those is multi-stranded copper, and these are going to be fitted into my plug in the correct order. So I'll try to explain what the correct order is now. But before we do that, let's just do a little bit of uh, clever stuff, right? Earth wire, we want to have it, if that worst thing happens and that gets pulled out of, this, of the plug, we want the earth wire to be the last one to be leaving the plug. So I'm going to leave the earth wire longest, right? Next thing, next one I'd want to leave the plug would be the neutral wire, which is the blue one. So I'm going to make the blue one slightly shorter, and then I'm going to make the brown one slightly shorter again. So I've made those three wires three different lengths. I've got a long one medium one and a short one. Right, now, next thing, stripping the wires. So if you're lucky enough to have a set of these wire strippers on you or in your house, then you can use these to strip the insulation off the plug, off the wires. 
Now that does a really neat, easy job, right? If you haven't got that and you're stri using something else, you might have a set of these knocking around, which is wire strippers and crimpers. They're pretty good. Or you might be forced to be using a set of uh, cutters. Now, I think cutters are a little bit tricky, to be honest. You know, you have to kind of work your way around and then pull at that insulation to try and get it off. Some people use a knife to go around it, but you suddenly realize that with the proper device, that job is much, much simpler if you don't get that stuck inside it. So, you know, that comes straight off there, look. And then the same with the live connection. So there's all my bare wires. And now what I can do is I can start thinking about putting these into the plug. Right, I'm going to twist my wires around clockwise. So my multi-strand wire becomes almost like a single strand on all three wires. I'm going to put those underneath the cable grip. So here's my cable grip. My wires are going to go underneath the cable grip. Like so. Pull them all the way in until the white is under the cable grip. Now, if you want to, you can tighten up your cable grip so that it's clamped in place. OK, so there's no movement in that cable. It's, it's held securely. Right, let's see which one's which now. So the earth wire is coded yellow and green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my earth pin up. I'm going to bend my wire around and I'm going to put that underneath the screw that we loosened off on the earth pin. Get my screwdriver and tighten that one up. So my earth is connected to the plug nice and securely and safely. There he is going straight in. Next one I'm going to put in is the neutral pin. So my neutral pin, the blue one, goes in the side without the fuse. So here we go. I'm going to loosen that, lift the neutral pin up, guide it in. OK, it can be a bit fiddly sometimes. You have to just be a little bit patient. Poke that wire in place. Screw it up tight. And then push that one back in as well. So I've got my earth cable going in and I got my neutral cable going in. Last one I'm going to put in is my live cable. So the brown one, the live, is going to go to the same pin which has got the fuse. So I'm going to pop that underneath that one, tighten that up. Nice and tight. And then pop the fuse and the pin back in place. Like so. Right. Now, make sure none of the wires are going to get crimped and put the lid back on the plug. Get the lid back ready for going the plug. Pop it in place. Get your screwdriver and screw the lid back onto the plug. Right, and that is how you wire a 13 amp plug safely and securely. Make sure you can do it properly before you put it anywhere near uh, anything live. Get your teacher to check it. Take a photograph of it for evidence. You've done the first task. Well done.